Hi everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting package that arrived. It also arrived with my scent of the month box. So I'll be doing that video next. It'll probably go up tomorrow. Um, but also before we get into this haul, I did want to say they just announced today that Harry Potter is going to be releasing to the public. So not just pre-orders, anyone can go on and buy it. Even if you did a pre-order, you can still go on and buy it. It's going to be this Thursday, February 24th, while supplies last. Everyone who's done pre-orders has been hauling these things. So you've probably seen some videos, but the warmer is $75 and the wax collection is like 25 I could be wrong <laughs> I could be wrong it's a pack of four waxes I actually have the box right up there um I did do a little sniff through on my channel here it's a couple of videos back the collection is really really good three of them specifically I'm like I definitely need duplicates of if not club but um out of a four pack that's pretty good the other one I need to test like I'm not writing it off completely but it's a pretty good collection and honestly like you don't have to be a Harry Potter fan to you know redeem it whatever um pick it up so that will be available later this week on Thursday the 24th between hour of 9 30 a.m 10 30 a.m Pacific time, know your time zone. Um, there will be a queue in place. There, this, this is like a pretty high demand collection. So be ready, be on the website. Um, I have a feeling things will go fast. So just be ready for that. Um, but speaking of the actual like wax bars collection, if you just want the wax bars and if you don't want all of them and you want to add them to your club, they won't be available to add to club until March 24th, just to make sure they have enough inventory to ship out all the pre-orders and everyone who like buys the whole entire collection. So club will be a little bit of a delay. Normally they don't do this, but I think because it's such a high demand and like scent oils and shipping and everything, I think all things considered, they're like, let's just hold on the club <laughs> to make sure everyone who buys it like straight away can get it. And if you did a pre-order, you know, you probably put money down like a good six months ago. Like that's what I did. So pretty high demand uh, product here. So co this collection was definitely like very much hyped. So if you're into it, I know some people had asked me when it was going on sale before the pre-orders were even redeemed and then definitely once they started getting redeemed. So Thursday people. So um, back to my actual haul. So I have some things back here that I want to share, but we'll actually walk over there to get to the plug-in. But um, only a six pack of wax here and some other stuff. So these bars I did not have. And so I'm just kind of like re-upping on them. Uh, the first one is a new release bar in Clementine Cupcake. This one's really good, you guys. Do I love it more than Cutie Pie Cupcake? I don't know. I took, I ended up actually taking Cutie Pie Cupcake out of the club at the last minute because it's coming back in June. It, yes, I was a little bit nervous, but I was like, they clearly have the scent oil. So if they can pour it now because it's like in my always get my bar locked in in my club, they'll have the oils to pour it in June. And they said they were going to like, come on. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. And this is out, which it's comparable. They're not the same to me. This is more citrus on cold, but it definitely gets more bakery on warming. I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite between the two. I, I kind of really prefer Cutie Pie Cup. Cutie Pie Cupcake has so much more like bakery to me but a lot of people disagree. So, <laughs> uh, pink sugarberry mint. I have some older bars of this, like from a year ago. I was wondering if this new bar would smell any different. It smells stronger and it's not juicy because my other ones were like absolutely sweating. This is in the bakery category, but this is not a bakery scent to me. I'm curious on mixing it with maybe vanilla waves, which I actually also have in here. And this scent is so good. So good. This scent is so good. I think they would be really, really good mixed together. I really am dying to do the Lisa Roberry 
house selling winner mixture of vanilla waves sugar cookie and squeeze the day i was gonna say like something really funky there lemon um it's squeeze the day those three she mixed to sell her house <laughs> She was like, that was the winning like scent combination that sold her house. So not that I'm trying to sell my house, but I think that would be a really lovely combination because I don't love Squeeze the Day on its own, but Core really likes it. So I think it'd be like a nice combination for us to both enjoy, I guess. Um, restocked up on some weathered leather. <laughs> this is quite the scent. I can literally smell it through the package. Honestly though, as I was really strong I don't know who would warm this in their house but someone bought my other one off me so clearly <laughs> somebody likes it um and they distinctly ask like do you have weather thunder it gets me every time so honestly it's sitting here on my desk while I was like getting ready to um just like prepare things to film this I was getting like whiffs of it and it was really reminding me of the graduation bar from the moment by moment collection. I don't know if you could like maybe do a little combo here. You'd really have to cut down the weathered leather, I think, like really cut it down. But even like a vanilla waves, maybe sort of a mixture, I think that might give you a little something because it's really strong on its own, but I'm getting whiffs of it and it's really reminding me of graduation because graduation does have that slightly like sweet leather scent, which is really nice. You could maybe make it something work there. I'm just saying. Um, okay, then we have Apple Teeny Splash. This is another new scent. This one smells really good. I need to warm it. It kind of reminds me of caramel apple in a way on cold. But I have to warm it. And then Daydream Oasis. This one's kind of perfumey, but I really like it. I need to warm this one also. I have so many new bars I'm trying to get to. We just did Baymax downstairs. And what else did we do? Sun Ripened Berry, which I didn't even, I don't even know if I warmed a full bar of that. And it was from January. So I have so many new bars I need to get through that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get going. And I need to do the Hogwarts ones up there. You got it. I'm slacking. Okay. Then I ended up picking up with some like half price credits. Um, cause I actually, I, this, I feel like this is not a super large haul because I actually used some of my credits to help a customer start their Scentsy journey, um, which is really, really exciting. So if that is something that interests you, definitely talk to your consultant. They are able to um, help you kind of get started for a more discounted price. So reach out to them, ask them some questions. If you're like, oh, I really am interested, but I didn't want to pay the $99. Uh, but you know, even if I want to get a discount for myself, definitely something to reach out to your consultant about. So because of that, I feel like I, you know, had some less host credits, which is fine because I have so much, but, um, I feel like my box, I didn't like have as much as normal because I'm normally like <laughs> cashing out all the rewards. Um, a little bit excessive, right? So more scent circles. I love including these in random orders as thank yous because it's so much fun. Uh, be fabulous very bright, blue grotto, baked apple pie, blueberry cheesecake, black raspberry, black raspberry vanilla. Um, if you didn't notice, literally just went right down the alphabet with that one. <laughs> and then a couple of things. I ended up getting a six pack of car bars. Um, I'm always conflicted about what I should do with my car. Sometimes I run my mini fan diffuser, Sometimes I do scent circles. Sometimes I do car bars. I tried a scent pack. I kind of didn't have a lot of luck with that. So, you know, I just, I'm never really sure, but I ended up getting a six pack. And so I think this will last me a decent while through the summer here. So I got vanilla bean buttercream. And honestly, this one's good whenever, but I do like to have this one on hand because I know a lot of my um, like my mom and some other good friends really like this one 
and I could totally see somebody being like, hey, do you happen to have that? So I was like, if I'm doing a six pack, I may as well throw that in here. Um, coconut lemongrass, I've really come around to liking this scent. To me, it's really mostly coconut forward. Um, and I, I think originally I thought lemongrass was gonna make it smell like herbally and like cleaner and it's really coconut forward to me. So I really enjoy that. Bonfire Beach. I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone because I don't love Bonfire Beach. It's, I really want to like it, but there's just something about it that just, <laughs> I just can't quite jag with. So I picked it up in the car bar because sometimes things aren't the same as they are in wax because like this isn't warming up. It's just like one general scent. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Make a Splash. I really loved this one from last year and they brought it out in a ton of other products this year. Iridescent Pearl is such a good one. I think I had this car brought last year. Iridescent Pearl really isn't much of a performer, but I love the scent of it. <sighs> Conflicted. Um, and then Apricot Vanilla. This one also isn't much of a performer, people say. I've never tried it personally, and I just thought it would be like a nice spring, like winter into spring transition scent. Um, because we are getting snow today. So we're definitely not into spring yet, but it would, it's going to be a nice like transition type fragrance. Uh, right now I have in there Amazon rain, which is really nice. And then I got a couple extra one-off things. So I ended up getting a car bar clip. I, you guys know, I wanted to retest out the car bar clips. Um, especially now that it's like going to be summer. I tested some with cider mill is the one I tested it had to have been in the fall if it was cider mill but maybe it was like later fall so it was getting close to winter um and I just didn't have the best luck with it I also didn't love the scent of cider mill I just don't um but also I put the other half because there's two pieces um so I used one to test it I really wasn't driving with it I ended up taking it out and then I put the other half in Corey's car because he didn't complain. <laughs> but also when I rode with him, it wasn't overly scented. Um, I've rode with him and like other things, I know things do well in this car. Like he had Mystery Man, Car Bar Clips. He had a Sunkiss Citrus Scent Circle that was like throwing us out of the car. It was so strong. I know scents like work in his car, but I don't really remember smelling the Cider Bill Car Bar Clip all too much when I was in with him. Like not much more than I smelled in my own car. So he probably honestly still has it plugged in because he's not good about changing that stuff out. Um, but I figured I would re give it a retry in Pina Colada Cha Cha. I don't know if like the air versus the heat, maybe it'll make a difference. I'm not entirely positive, um, but I figured I'd just give another shot. I really love Pina Colada Cha Cha, so I figured it was a good scent to test it in, because uh, I don't believe this comes in actual car bar, only the car bar clip. So a good excuse to give it a test, I guess. And we'll see if because of the season change or anything else, maybe just because I like the scent better, uh, I get better performance, we'll see. And then <laughs> this is gonna be really, really random. But I ended up picking up Javi the Hedgehog Buddy Clip. And this may seem crazy, <laughs> but when my first, first, first that I can remember introduction to Sensi was when I was in high school, one of my friends had a buddy in Javi the Hedgehog. <laughs> she had the full-size buddy of Javi and she had it in her car with a scent pack and we would we kind of like worked out of town and so she had like a summer house and we would stay there so we would like travel back and forth because we lived by each other um, and then also worked in the same place and I stayed at her summer house. So she would like put it in her car when we would like make our road trips <laughs> to the other house to stay like for the summer and like go back and forth and stuff. And I always remember this stuffed animal that she had was so fragrant. And one time I literally, I remember her like putting in the new scent back because I could never figure out what it was coming from and why it was so fragrant. I just remember it being so strong. And I don't 
think we have the fragrance that it was because I've never smelled anything that reminds me of the scent of that but I just remember it being so overpoweringly strong every time like we got in the car and she had brought her buddy so one time I saw her actually like replacing the scent pack in it and I was like oh my gosh it's like the buddy who's been smelling which I kind of figured but I just it, it doesn't make sense if you don't know like their scent in the buddy <laughs> um but I just remember her always having her hobby the hedgehog full-size buddy and so when I saw that the buddy clip was coming out in Javi, I was like, this is so nostalgic. I have to get Javi the buddy clip just because I'm like, this, that was my first interaction with Sensi and I didn't even know it. Um, and then once I kind of got more into Sensi and realized they had buddies and you like put it in the scent bag, I literally was like, oh my gosh, this is that same company who my friend had with her buddy where she was like sticking the scent back inside it was just like a whole big connection and now he's back he's in a in a buddy clip so I'm really excited about this um if the full size buddy came back I would honestly probably purchase it because he's just so cute <laughs> and I absolutely love um how the buddy clip his arms are like sticking out and so he's got his big belly it's very cute and also an added plus, uh, one of my favorite fragrances, Pineapple Pucker, is what he is scented in. So isn't this so adorable? <laughs> and he's so soft. So this is the Hobby the Hedgehog Buddy Clip. Honestly, if I had a Scentsy bag, I would probably hook him to the outside. Also, if I had like a diaper bag or some type of baby, um, you know, like bag that you need to store a bunch of mom stuff in, besides my actual purse, I would probably hook him on there. Um, but we're not quite there yet. And also, I don't think I'm going to like hook him on my purse to take him everywhere. I would more prefer to hook him on like a Sensi specific bag that I like, you know, maybe like my work bag or something. So I may clip him on my backpack or something. Um, he's just so nostalgic and so I had to pick him up. I know it's extremely random because I like don't really have a purpose to be buying buddy clips, but the nostalgia, I couldn't not. And he was delayed. So he just came available maybe like a week or two ago. So I had to snatch him up. So now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's head back here and look at the stuff that we have going on. So I'm going to attempt to set you up and hopefully this works. I hope it's not like too horrid of an angle here. So let's move some rain out of the way. Okay, so I think first let's talk about this. So this is the Reflect Sensi diffuser shade premium diffuser shade so like right here behind this we have our Sensi um premium diffuser so this is this is like a different version of our regular deluxe diffuser um it's just more fancy I guess and more expensive so you can actually change out the shades or what that's what they're called uh which is just like this top port that covers the diffuser so I posted a poll on Instagram and had you guys vote whether you liked this diffuser shade or the new Explore and it was so close you guys it was down to like one percent and it was like going back and forth so honestly I might still get the Explore but this one won and I really had my eye on it for a long time so I was like okay fine um couple of things let me let me move to show you and you're probably going to get a lot of reflection from the camera and my room but hopefully you can see and i'm going to plug it in so here's the deal let's put this down so i can explain um if i take off the shade which i i bought this shade on clearance for like ten dollars or fifteen dollars maybe um i like it and here's the the situation i bought the base with a half price product credit and then I bought the shade separately out of the clearance section which if you can do that it made this probably the cheapest diffuser you're gonna buy because this was on extreme discount 
and this I got for half price. So what is the base? Like $60, so I probably got it for 30 and then I spent the discounted clearance price for the shade. I would highly recommend. Um, I literally went that route because I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like super love this. Um, so I didn't want to spend like the full amount if I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. Um, but now that I've experienced <laughs> the situation, um, this, you can't get this shade anymore, but it has like this film on the inside, which you guys told me shouldn't come out. It's like what helps diffuse the light around these wire, like it's wire all around here. Um, but then there's also this really tiny hole at the top that's supposed to line up with your hole from your diffuser. Um, I have a heck of a time getting that lined up and this, every time I try to pull it off, this thing comes out. So I just have a really hard time getting this off to fill this, which I think deters me from using it, honestly. So I figured, <laughs> um, I would just give this a shot, use it, whatever. I had the treetops glisten diffuser shade on. But I put that away when I put my Christmas trees away. So then I've just been having this on and I've really only used it like one or two times just because it's such a pain to get on and off. So I picked up a new one. So let me show you the difference here. So um, this is just the diffuser. This is like the base that they all go on. So no matter what shade you get, as long as it's for the premium diffuser, that's the only shades you can buy, I'm pretty sure. Um, it just goes on here. But obviously like you take the shade off, you take this off you pour your water and your oils right into here, into the reservoir, and then, you know, they come out the top like this. So, this shade, this is like very heavy glass. Um, this is pretty wide and there's nothing like additional on the inside that would get caught, I think, on this little extra rubber stopper. And the hole's also pretty big. So, plenty of room. At least this is my theory. So, Let's put it on. Oh yes, oh, this is gonna be so easy to get on and off. No excuses to not be using this now. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you see those little like speckles right there? I think the light's gonna come through there. So the premium diffuser, you can do a bunch of different light settings. So we have high, and it's gonna flicker on camera. It's not actually flickering in person. It looks so cool. It looks like plain paint, like splatter, like speckle. Okay, then we have low light. So this is the same, just like constant light, but it's of the dim version. Then I think we have the candle flicker, which in this, it doesn't look the same. Like um, the candle flicker, I, I really, it depends. I gotta be in the mood for that. Um, and then it's off. So then if you press down and hold it, there's two different buttons. So there's a light button and a diffuse button. So we're only doing the lights right now. Um, if you press down and hold it, it will come on in these colors and it's going to cycle through all the colors. So I'm going to let that play because it takes a little bit and I'm going to share you, share with you, um, the other product I got. So I'm really freaking excited about that. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so much cooler in person than I thought. Um, it's probably going to start flickering when it gets on like the, like these lighter colors and stuff. Yeah, here it goes. Um, it doesn't flicker in person, just saying, but this looks so cool. Oh, I really, I'm really excited. Um, I'm so glad you guys voted on this. So it looks black under the speckle, but I think it's like a dark, like midnight blue almost. It's not like, like darker than navy, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. While it's cycling, let's talk about the next thing. So next, we have, I think this is called Meat in the Meadow. Do I, I every time I don't have a catalog. <laughs> I think this is called Meat in the Meadow. Um, oh, 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 I have the box. Rooftop Garden, my bad. <laughs> I think Mean in the Meadow is discontinued. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. Um, okay, this is called Rooftop Garden. And honestly, this was not on my radar. Uh, some customers at the beginning, like when the like catalog sneak peeks were starting to come out, they were like, oh, this one is the best. And I was like, yeah, like, I don't know. It's not really on my radar. And then I started seeing some people haul it and I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. So. 
Um, I do think it's very much, a, I was gonna say petite, but let me show you next to Summer Rain. It's it's smaller than Summer Rain, I would say. I, I would think so. It's definitely um, got a very, like, it's all one way. Like, it's not that bubble. It's just straight up and down. Um, but it's definitely very petite. Like, I can hold it just right in my hand here. And I don't feel like it's overwhelming. Like, it's too much for my hand. So, it's completely ceramic gray. And then these white parts, which are the flowers, are, like, raised. And they're actually textured, which is really cool. Um, it has kind of a smaller dish. They're saying you can still use four cubes in this. But I brought a cotton cleanup to show you a demonstration that it's literally like the exact width of a cotton cleanup and you kind of have to, it, there's a little bit of overlap. So like, can you see that? Can you see how it's dented in? Like it's a little bit smaller than the cotton cleanup, but you could fit it in here. So I know some people like to use these and they are back in stock now. So if this determines like if you're gonna use this or not, it does fit, you had four cubes, you might want to really do a slow entrance there. Like, don't do this or it'll splatter all over. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show that to you. Because that's, like, when I see warmer dishes, I'm like, okay, but would a cotton cleanup fit in there? It's, like, one of the first things I think of. So, um, because also, if you use, like, these, like, silicone wax, like, this isn't going to fit in here. No, no, no. But this might that would fit in there. Okay. So there you have it. That's the wax dish size. Um, it also is a little bit, it's got a little bit of a lip right here. So I thought this was the same dish that we may have on some other different warmers. Um, but now that I realize it has this lip, which I didn't know from just like watching other people's videos, I didn't realize it had that. Um, it's actually not the same, I don't think, as some other warmers. So it sits in here really nicely because it's kind of like rounded on the edges of it. So it doesn't look like a really harsh like line where the dish is. I don't know if you'll know what I mean by that. Um, so for example, this other dish has like a really sharp like edge here. It's like straight up and down. This one's like curved. Can you tell that? So I feel like it makes it look so much more natural in the dish, which I think goes really well with this warmer specifically. So also it has lights all the way around. So it actually doesn't have lights really in the back. There's one here and then a couple over here, but like none directly in the back. So it's not going to cast light if you have it on like it's not going to cast light behind it. It's only going to go all the way around. So let's turn it on. So because this is ceramic and um, it's a 20 watt bulb, it's definitely, you're not going to see the light through it. You're only going to see the light out the top. And obviously once you put wax in it, it's going to be the color of the wax. And then out these holes in the side is where you're going to see the wax. So um, sometimes these um, holes in the sides. If you have them against your wall, they kind of make like little heart shapes on your wall, which is really cute. But this definitely isn't going to be a super, um, bright warmer necessarily, only if you're like seeing these little holes. So I'll give a little spin for ya. There's the back. And then this is the little cord situation. I love this. It's so cute. And I love how petite it is. Um, I will say, when I have my hand over it right here, I can definitely feel the heat coming off of it. I can feel the heat, but the dish necessarily isn't like super warm yet. So this is a 20 watt bulb. Don't go over and put more than a 25 watt or a 20 watt bulb in here. Don't like screw in a 25 watt bulb because you may have an electrical problem. Do not ever go up in wattage. <laughs> That could be an issue. Uh, you have been warned. So this may not be like your best performer, but because it is ceramic, I think it would do okay. Um, honestly though, your best bet is anything with a 25 watt bulb. 
probably a 25 watt bulb ceramic, but I do have some 25 watts that are glass that do really well. Um, but this does have these little holes to just kind of let out the excess heat so it doesn't get too hot in here. But the dish is starting to warm up. It's just taking a little bit longer than it usually does when I do these types of reviews or unboxings, whatever. Um, we do have the colored bulbs in 20 watt bulbs. However, I think the difference you're going to get is going to be extremely minimal in this type of setting with it being totally ceramic. It's just going to be the different colors that come out these like this instead of being like the white bulb would be whatever color you choose. It's going to be very minimal, especially since the top is going to be the color of the wax. It's not like going to shine through the wax a certain color. It's going to shine the color of the wax you have it in. So keep that in mind. If you're buying this with a color bulb, you may be defeating the purpose. Just saying. So that is everything I have. Hopefully you were able to get a gist of this running through all of its cycle as well. It's so pretty and I do think it'll be extremely easy to take on and off just because it's so it's so much easier than the other one. And I feel like this extra situation right here, like this extra space, I can just pick it right up. I'm really excited. I'm really happy um, with the style of this diffuser shade compared to the one I had. I'm glad I got that one so I could experience it, but I'm so glad I have this one now. So <laughs> that is all I have for this video here today. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the Harry Potter Hogwarts collection launching the 24th between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> Message me if you have any questions or comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.